Now, those are, there are actually, there are two techniques. There are two techniques to find out all these rational numbers between two given rational numbers. So, pehli jo technique hai, the first one, isse hum kehte hai the average technique, right? So, average technique is the first technique. And there is another technique, there is another technique, jise hum kehte hai, it's a two-step technique. So, average technique is the first technique. And jo second technique hai, that is called as a two-step technique. So, ये two step technique है दोस्तों, this we are going to learn later on. But आज अभी we are going to focus on the average technique. Now, मान लीजिए अगर आप दो number लेते हो, right? So, अगर आप कोई भी दो number लेते हो x and y. So, अगर आप average लेते हो x and y की, so what do you get? So, जब आप average लेते हो, आपको पिछले classes से मालूम है कि चलिए x and y के average लेते हैं. What it means is, you add x plus y and you divide that total by two. So, मान लीजिए इसे हम बोलते हैं z. So, अगर आप x and y की average लेते हो, so your z will be right in the middle of x and y, right? So, अगर आपको दो number दी जाती है x and y, and if you take average of x and y, you will get a number z which is right in between x and y. Similarly, मान लीजिए अभी आपके पास दो number है x, y. अगर आप इन दो numbers की average लेते हो, so let's say you are going to get another number a, which is right in between x and z. Similarly, if z and y ki agar aap average lete ho, you will get another number b, which is right in between z and y. So, those are, this is the technique of uh, the average technique. Is basically so we continuously find out averages of two numbers to find a number between the first two numbers. We continue this method until we find out as many numbers as we need. Right? So, in this very example, those aapne dekhi ki hamare paas do numbers di, di hui thi, x and y. So, we had x and y ki average, li, we found out z. Then, we have now three numbers, x, z and y. Now, if we take x and z, in ki average, lene se, we found out the number a. Right? Then, similarly, similarly between z and y, if we take average, lete hai, we find out b. So, aise karke hum dekh rahe hai ki we can take as many averages as we want and then, we try and find out as many rational numbers as we need. ठीक है? So, चलिए दोस्तों, since आज हम बात करेंगे average technique की, so let us take some examples. So, पहली example ये है दोस्तों, कि let us say we need to find out four rational numbers between, मान लीजिए, 2 and 3. So, how do we find out four rational numbers between 2 and 3? So, पहले तो strategy design करते हैं दोस्तों, so, so man lije, this is your number 2 and this is your number 3. So, what we are going to do is using average technique. Hum abhi average technique ko use kar rahe hain. Right? We are not using the two-step technique. So, average technique jab hum use kar rahe hain, what we are going to do is, hum 2 and 3 ki average lenge. We know we are going to find out a number right in the middle. Us number ko chaliye hypothetically bolte hain x1. So, x1 will be hamari pehli rational number. Right? Now, to find out the second rational number, what we will do, hum log average lenge 2 and x1 ki. So, we are going to find out some number right in the middle. Let us call that number x2. Then, to find out the third number, hum kya karenge? Hum x1 and 3 ki average karenge. And we are going to find out some number in the middle. Wo number ban jayegi x3. So, is, is tarah se we will have x1, x2 and x3, teen rational numbers. Now, hume fourth rational number leni hai. Now, we can take, dosto, virtually any of this combination. We can take 2 and x2. We can find something in between. We can take x2 and x1. We'll get something here in between them. We can take x1 and x3 and we'll get something here. We can take x3 and 3 and we can get something here. So, dosto, these are all these different combinations that we can take to find out our fourth rational number. So, hum kya karenge, dosto? what we will do is we will take probably between 2 and x2 we will take the average of this and we will find out x4 as a fourth rational number. Now, chale, dosa, now let us do these calculations and find out the four rational numbers that we need. So, pehla hai x1, so which is an average of 2 and 3. So, x1 ko aap aise karke likhye, x1 is average of 2 and 3, that is it will be 2 plus 3 divided by 2. So, ye ban gai aapki 5 by 2. So, pehli jo number hai, x1, this is actually, the rational number is 5 by 2. Now, abhi x2 kya hai? x2 is this number, 
x2 is actually average of 2 and x1. So, up average of 2 and x1, let us say basically it will be 2 and x1, 2 plus x1 divided by 2, which is equal to 2 plus x1 have 5 by 2 divided by 2. So, if you, if you add these two fractions, so 2 aapke denominator hai, 1 2s are 2, so uh, 2 2s are 4 plus 2 1s are 2, so you will have 5 here divided by 2 by 1, so these two will get multiplied, right, and here 1 ke saath this will go over here, so 4 plus 5, it will be 9, 9 times 1 is 9, and 2 times 2 is 4. So, aapke jo second number ban gai, x2, which is aapke this number, that rational number is 9 by 4. So, similarly, also let us calculate x3. Now, x3 is aapke average of x1 and 3. So, x3 is x1 plus 3 by 2. So, x1 jo hai aapke, that is 5 by 2 again. So, you have 5 by 2 plus 3 divided by 2. So, here pe your LCM is 2. So, you, you will have 5 plus 1, 2s are 2, 3, 2s are 6 divided by 2. This is again 2 by 1. So, here ban gai aapke 11 and 11 will get multiplied by 1 which is 11 and 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. So, aapke x3 jo ho gai, that is 11 by 4. So, our first rational number thi x1 which is 5 by 2. Second rational number thi our x2 which is 9 by 4. Then third rational number ban gai, uh, 11 by 4. And now x4 we thought we will take actually average of 2 and x2, right? So, humko x4 dhoonne ke liye, we thought we will take an average of 2 and x2. So, it will be 2 plus x2 divided by 2. So, 2 plus x2 kitni hai aapki? x2 is 9 by 4. So, isse likhte hai 9 by 4 entire thing divided by 2 and now we will write this as 4 is your denominator and 1 4 is a 4 2 4 is a 8 plus 9 divided by 2 divided by 1 so ye ban gai aapke 17 divided by 8 4 2 is a 8 so ye ho gai aapke dosto x4 so the 3 Ration, the four rational numbers that exist between integer 2 and integer 3, the four rational numbers that exist between integer 2 and integer 3 are x1 5 by 2, x2 9 by 4, x3 11 by 4 and x4 17 by 8. Now, dosto, again, as you will recall, we had talked about if you take number line lete ho between 2 and 3, right? So, if you have 2 and you have 3 and this way is your plus infinity and this way man is your 0, right? Aapko malum hai between 2 and 3, you actually have infinite many rational numbers and irrational numbers. So, humne jo abhi, the exercise that we did using the average technique, humne sirf char numbers we have been able we have found out only four rational numbers that exist between 2 and 3 so this is a very very important point dosto kyunki agar hum aapko bolte ki panch number ya che number ya 10 number so you have to just continue this mechanism of keep taking averages of these numbers and continue to find out all the um, other numbers which continue to actually exist in between uh, 2 and 3